Hello and welcome or welcome back to the Three Strands Pod. How you feel, how you feel, how you feel? 25 sitting on 25 mil. I hope you guys are still declaring that over your life if that is what you want. Because not everybody may want 25 mil. I, I don't know what your goals are, okay? I'm just trying to help you, help me, help you, okay? You're welcome. <laughs> Okay, you man, this is a safe space and I feel like I am able to complain here without judgement. Remember in May when I was complaining, saying, Oh my days, it's May, we're wearing puffer jackets. Oh, when's the sun coming out? Um, the sun has been out, I have been enjoying it, but now hay fever is kicking my ass. Oh my gosh. My nose is itching, my eyes are itching, my ear, one of, oh my gosh, my ear is blocked, as in I cannot hear oh my days is too much it's too please it's too much it's actually too, i can't breathe it's too 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 much please can i just complain for a second oh my gosh i'm just <laughs> please tell me that i'm not alone i need all the people that are suffering with pay people right now to stand up put your hands up make yourselves known in the place because i can't be alone i don't want to be alone okay I need a friend right now because <laughs> hay fever is kicking my ass, yo. It's kicking it. Kick, 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 kick. That's hay fever. Horrible, horrible, horrible. So to all the people that do not suffer with hay fever, I just have one question. How does it feel to be God's favourite? Hmm? How does it feel? You can go outside and just take deep breaths. How does, how does that feel? Eyes aren't itching, throat's not itching, nose ain't itching, ears aren't blocked and itching. How does that feel? How does it feel to actually be God's favourite? Because I, I don't know. I can't relate to that. I just want to know um, what it is I'm missing out. Just just let me know. How does it feel to be God's favourite? How does it feel to know that God chose you as his chosen one? God chose you <laughs> to be his favourite. Oh, for me. <laughs> How does it feel? Because I just want to know. <sighs> oh. All right, it got a little bit sad there, but the sun is still out, so we can't sit around being sad, because that's not good. So, with that being said, I think the time has come to make a deal. What a deal. So, without further ado, oh, 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 I said without further ado, oh, 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 cue the intro. Something years of age and life surely ain't about handouts, so I lays my plan out. Hard work is living catered to an art called survival. Consider John's lesson from conception to arrival. Now that I'm here, my fear shall decrease. Learning about life, making my way to the east. From four square yard struggle up the G's on time. Your God hit me with that one. I just have one question for you, man. Where are all the black hairstylists? Where are they? Where they at though? No. Where they at though? No. You guys may be wondering, what on earth is she talking about? I'ma tell y'all. Hollywood ain't got no black hairstylists. Okay, and it's a prom. For you, for me, for her, for him, for them, for us, it's a prom. So I'ma give you guys the facts and the figures and y'all can tell me where the black hairstylist at. Cause I don't know. Trina McGee from Boy Meets World says she stayed up all night doing micro braids before appearing on TV the next morning to film as she didn't have a hairdresser. This is absurd. If you man don't know what micro braids are, Google it if you're not familiar. Micro braids. Micro as in small. Yeah? Okay. Micro braids. And she had to go on TV the next morning. The average box braids can take you 8, 9, 10, 11 hours. So imagine how long it will take you to do micro braids. And she's not just doing this with a banter. She's literally doing it because there is no one else to do it for her. Tati Gabrielle from The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina shared a time-lapsed video of her backstage styling her hair in finger waves. And users on her Instagram were surprised and praising her for her talents and being able to do her hair. And then others were sharing their disappointments that she had to do her own hair. One user even wrote, 
thank you for continuing to highlight what black women slash femmes slash non-binary people have to endure in the entertainment industry. Even though finger waves is a style that is a lot quicker than micro braids, it's still unacceptable that there was no one to do her hair for her. She did get some help to style her hair in the back, but she shouldn't have been doing her hair at all. Like, she should not have gone backstage to do her own hair. High School Musical star Monique Coleman, who played Taylor McKesey, said she incorporated headbands into her character as the crew didn't know how to work with black hair. And she said that the wardrobe department and Disney were open to her feedback. Now, if you guys go online and look at how Taylor McKesey, the character's hair, was styled, the, the headband makes sense now. It makes sense. Just, yeah. It, yeah, just go to Google because, yeah. Film and TV producer Keith Calder shared a tweet that reads, Just heard about a film shooting right now. One of the leads is black and the hair department told him they assumed he would, quote, just take care of yourself with regards to his hair. This is infuriating and a story that's way too common. Now bear in mind he's referring to one of the lead characters, not some background character who you will never see on screen, maybe just once in passing. He's talking about a lead character and he's being told that they just assumed that he would do his own hair, just take care of his hair himself. What is that? The tweet was made in October 2020, so it hasn't even been a complete year and this is what we're still facing. One Twitter user responded, All offence to white hairstylists, but the fact that they don't know how to do an entire group of people's hair and think they're good at their job is hilarious to me. I personally agree with that, because you can't do hair if you can't do hair. There should be no reason why you're sweating when a black person gets into your chair, or you're expecting the actor or the model to do their own hair if you are the hairstylist. You need to style this hair. Like, just take a second and deep this with me that there is a hairstylist backstage who is not styling hair, that the models and the actors and the actresses are doing their own hair but the hairstylist is really just standing there painting her nails. What is that? You are supposed to style the hair, you're not styling hair. You need to style this hair, not me. You need to style it. Model Olivia Anique shared an Instagram post about her experience backstage at a fashion show where they were planning to give her cornrows, despite the fact that none of the hairstylists know how to do cornrows. Make it make sense. No, make it actually make sense. She said that she even asked the other models if they would be able to cornrow her hair before the only nail stylist left her role to tend to her hair. She raised the question, black hairstylists are required to know how to do everyone's hair. Why does the same not apply to others? Again, I think it's a very, very valid question because you can't be a hairstylist if you don't know how to style your hair. You actually have to specify and say, I'm a white hairstylist because you can't say, I'm a hairstylist, but you don't know how to do hair. Everybody has hair. You don't know how to cut hair. You don't know how to braid hair. You don't know how to twist hair. You say you're a hairstylist, but you didn't style anything though. The models, the actors, the actresses, whoever it is, is doing their own hair, but you're the hairstylist. Or in this situation, the nail stylist is now doing hair. But there's a hairstylist in the room. There's more than one. How does this big, big man thing make it make sense? Because it's not making any kind of a sense right now. Or maybe I'm just not understanding that hairstylists don't actually do hair. That it's the nail stylists that do hair. And then, yeah, the hairstylist is just there for fashion. I don't know. You actually can't call yourself a hairstylist if you don't know how to style or braid black hair. Knowing that there are black people on set who need you to do the style and braid their hair. It actually genuinely doesn't make sense. Hairstylists have to know how to style hair. There's no time to be figuring it out when the model is sitting in the chair right now. Brother, it's too late to be playing these kind of games. You're supposed to ask if this particular set has black actors or black models whose hair you need to style. Because you can't just leave them because you don't know what you're doing, but you're here as a hairstylist. I don't... What is that? Actor Malcolm Barrett tweeted... Most black actors get their hair cut or styled outside of set, often at their own expense because Hollywood hairstylists are one size fits all and that all does not include black hair. This has been my experience for the last 20 years in the business and it hasn't changed at all. 
How can you actually finally make it to big, big Hollywood and you have to do your own hair? Nah, they're setting you up. It's actually a prank show. Hollywood is actually a prank show. In big, big Hollywood, you are doing your own hair. When you're filming for big, big Hollywood, you still have to go to Gina's beauty shop to go and get your braids done or go to Desmond's barber shop to get a young fade. Must be joking. Must be joking. Because deep it, they're taking you for a mug. They're actually taking you for a full-blown mug. And I'm not talking about you bringing Gina or Desmond to the studio, bringing them to Hollywood and letting them pattern your hair there. No. I'm talking about you have to fork out money. Hollywood is not paying for your hair. You have to pay for your hair. Fam, you're really taking the time out to get your hair done for Hollywood, in Hollywood. But it's not by Hollywood. Nah, you're taking a mic, you're taking a mic. How, no big man thing, you have to deep it. They're actually taking you for a joke. My queen, the only queen I know, Latifah, spoke about how she decided to do her own hair when filming Living Single, which is my favourite show. If you guys have not seen it, I don't know why you're lacking. Hurry up and watch the show. She said that she had an album out at the same time as the show, and so she decided she's not going to lose her edges over the show. And so she decided to do her own hair. And every hairstyle that she has in the show is done, styled, all of it, patterned by her. So big up you, Queen Latifah. I love you forever. That's my dog. So when black women in the industry have to do their own makeup or their own hair or they have to style themselves, are they receiving all of these glam fees on top of their payment? Because this is a whole other role. Having to go to set and be a model and you have to figure out what hairstyle you're going to do, how you're going to do it, what time you're going to do it, like all of these other things that should have been taken care of. Are they paying you to do all of this as well? Because if not, Hollywood is bumping you, my dog. They are bumping you. I told you, Hollywood is just a prank show. It's actually just a prank show. But when I get there, I'm going to move different. So, yeah. So, this one goes to anyone who is in the process of becoming a hairstylist. Please make sure you know how to work on all hair types. Because it is so important that all models, actors, actresses, whoever it may be, can get their hair done at the studio or on set by hairstylists and not have to worry about doing it themselves. We're very fortunate in the time we live in because we can access everything and anything from the internet. So you can just go to YouTube and watch the one million and one tutorials that there are on different hair types and different hairstyles or whatever it may be. Or if you have a black friend, just ask them. It doesn't have to be this whole big racial thing. Just make sure you learn before you go out into the world and disgrace yourself. Because if their hair is dead, it's on you because you're the hairstylist. As always, all the links are in the description, including a link for a survey on issues on diversity in the industry. So please fill it out if this is something that you would like to support or that you feel strongly about. And that is it from me for this week. Until next time, peace in the Middle East to you and your crew. What, what, peace in the Middle East to you and your crew. Something years of age and life surely ain't about handouts So I lays my plan out Hard work is living catered to an art called survival Consider John's lesson from conception to arrival Now that I'm here my fear shall decrease Learning about life making my way to the east From four square yard struggler The G's on time Your God hit me with that rock